the article Never Too Late. If you're reading this, then probably you're a student working on improving your proficiency as a reader. But you may already have more skills than some people much older than you. Some adults would have a hard time in your class because they never learned to read or because they Ellison says, many people who worked for decades in manufacturing never needed reading skills at work. For example, someone who worked attaching doors onto cars may not have needed to be illiterate or to be literate to do the job. But at the end of the 20th century and the beginning of the 21st century, many American manufacturing jobs disappeared. It became cheaper for companies to manufacture things in other countries overseas. Some people who had worked for decades on an assembly line found themselves out of work. Often the ones who couldn't read well had a hard time finding a new job, Mr. Ellison reports. The world changed around them, he says. For them, reading skills are important because of the difficulty of getting and then keeping a job. Men and women who want to enter job training programs to become welders and x-ray technicians are often given training manuals written at the 10th grade level, Mr. Ellison says. People with difficulty reading often have a hard time in these programs. They can also have difficulties learning to use computers because they can't always understand the instructions that appear on a screen. Some people graduated from high school but don't have good reading skills. That's partly because some schools have a policy of passing students onto the next grade, even if they haven't mastered all the material covered. That policy is called social promotion. Grown-ups who need help learning to read and other basic skills can seek out classes at adult education programs funded by the federal and state governments. A person who never graduated from high school can use one of these programs to get a high school equivalency certificate. With that kind of certificate, a person can apply to college. Question one, according to the text, what do adults who have difficulty reading often do? A, move to another country. B, try to hide their problems from others. C, hire expensive tutors. D, discourage their kids from reading. Number two, the effects of low reading proficiency among adults are explained in the passage. Which of the following is one of these effects explained in the passage? A. They can lose their jobs. B. They are unable to ever learn how to read. C. They are not allowed to graduate from high school. D. They are unable to go to the doctor. Number three. Read the following paragraph. Often adults with difficulty reading try to hide their problems from others. For example, Mr. Ellison explains, it is not uncommon for someone applying for a job to ask if he or she can take home an application. There, the applicant can ask a friend or even a daughter or son to help fill out the form. Others try to disguise their inability to read the options on a menu by pointing to a photograph of a dish instead, or by saying, I'll have what that person's having. Based on the evidence, what conclusion can be made? 
A, some people who can't read are embarrassed by their inability to read. B, picture menus are better than printed menus. C, young people are skilled at filling out applications. D, older people feel indecisive at restaurants. Question four. The reading skills of a parent can make an impact on the learning of his or her child. What evidence in the text supports this conclusion? A, parents who can't read can't buy their children books. B, parents who can't read can't talk to teachers about homework. C, parents who can't read can't help with or check their children's homework. D, parents who can't read can't help their children get jobs. Question five, what is this passage mainly about? A, the rising number of high school dropouts in America. B, changes in the United States manufacturing industry. C, job training programs for welders and x-ray technicians. D, the challenges faced by adults with low reading proficiency. Number six, read the following sentences. Not being able to read well as a grown-up can make life very difficult and cause complications at work and at home. There is also an emotional toll. What does the word complications mean based on the passage? A, solutions, B, problems, C, behaviors, D, diseases. Question seven, choose the answer that best completes the sentences below. For many jobs nowadays, you must fill out an application, understand a training manual, or use a computer. It can be hard for you to get and keep jobs if you can't read. A, even though, B, otherwise, C, for instance, D, consequently. And the last one is question number nine. Describe some of the possible consequences that one might experience if one leaves school without learning to read well.